Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at a pretty unique SSD to come out from Samsung recently. This is the 990 EVO Plus. And what makes this SSD unique is the fact that it is a top tier Gen 4 SSD in terms of its overall speed rating here. But it is also backwards compatible with Gen 5 X2, or I guess I should say forwards compatible with Gen 5 X2. Because every time the PCI generation improves, so going from Gen 4 to Gen 5, you get a doubling of the bandwidth and throughput capability. So if we have four lanes of Gen 4, that's roughly 7,000 megabytes per second. You go to Gen 5 X4, that's going to be 14,000 or 14 gigabytes per second is the max with four lanes. But with half of the lanes, with two lanes, you're going to equal the amount of speed you can do with a full Gen 4 X4, and that's what this SSD is capable of doing. So this is pretty useful for some of the newer motherboards to come out, particularly the ones from MSI, which we're gonna be taking a look at in this video. A little bit of history on the Samsung EVO line. The EVO line has always been their more budget-friendly, consumer-focused grade of SSDs versus their Pro Series. I myself have been using EVO SSDs as far back as the original SATA-based Samsung, the 840 EVO. This is the big kit that came with the cable, the USB adapter cable to the SATA and power interface here. But I've been using this. This was from Fry's Electronics a long time ago. But that's like my first EVO drive from Samsung. Then I got the 850. The 840 was the one that had the infamous firmware problem with the trim where it could go bad. Um, so they had to update the firmware on that a couple times. I remember that being a hassle. But then there was the 850 EVO. And then my very first NVMe drive on my like first generation Ryzen X370 computer build that I did back in 2017. That was my very first NVMe drive, a one terabyte Evo right there, the 960 Evo, which I still actually use in one of my active systems today. Then I did get the 970 Evo Plus a few years back. And those are pretty much all of my Samsung drives. I've been using a lot of Crucial, especially for like Gen 5 and some budget Gen 3. So we ha did do a video on the T700. This is an example of a true Gen 5 SSD with the full Gen 5 speed. But the Evo is kind of an interesting hybrid because most likely there's probably going to be a lot of mobile devices like laptops that come out in the future or near future that do two lanes of Gen 5 because modern chipsets are probably gonna be Gen 5 capable, but, the, but a mobile device is gonna be limited on the lane count versus a desktop. Okay, so looking at MSI's website here for the MSI X870 Godlike, you can see that it says M.2 underscore 2 supports up to Gen 5 times 4. But if we come down here to the USB 4 ports, it says down here, USB, there's an asterisk here, USB 40 gigabit type C ports on the back panel and M.2 underscore 2 share PCI 5.0 X4 bandwidth. Both run at, there it is, Gen 5 X2 when a device is installed in the M.2 underscore 2 slot. So that means as soon as you install any SSD, it doesn't matter what SSD you install, it could be an ancient Gen 3 SSD like the 960 Evo, for example, you're only going to get two lanes of whatever the SSD supports. You want to make sure you install it in the correct slot. So we look at the motherboard diagram here from MSI and M.2 underscore 2 is going to be the SSD slot directly under where the graphics card gets installed. So it's going to be that second one there. So now let's go ahead and install it in the system and verify the speeds. Okay, to install the 990 EVO Plus in the X870 Godlike or similarly on the Tomahawk or any of those boards that do this, so it's fully toolless, so you, there's a large clip here on the left, you press that down or toward the right and then you lift up and then off. And then this is the slot that we're going to install in. This is the one that can do Gen 5 two lanes or Gen 4 four lanes, but you have to disable your USB 4 ports, which I refuse to do that. So you wanna make sure you peel off the adhesive on both the heat sink the removable heatsink and the motherboard. So the nice thing about this SSD is that it's single-sided. There's no flash on the bottom because that means that you can install it in a motherboard that doesn't have 
thermal pads on the underside and it will still uh, be adequately cooled. So the, it has a little nub there, you just press down and then it, that's it. It's in place, so it goes in like that. And then we just cover this back up. So you wanna line the tab on this right side over here and then just line it up and then press it down. It'll click into place. You can kind of see it doesn't wobble and that's it. Then we install the GPU and then we're good to go. Okay, so I got the Samsung 990 Evo Plus installed and we can see here, we only have two lanes because I have Avermedia Live Gamer 4K capture cards plugged into the USB 4 ports. So those are taking up two of the lanes but the remaining Gen 5 X2 lanes do give us the full Gen 4 speeds. You can see here, we did get over seven gigabytes on the read and that is the advertised speed. In fact, it's a little bit higher technically because it is rated for 7250 on the read and we got 7262. All right, and then another way you can verify the speed is right here. So transfer mode, there is the configured speed, which is the 5.0 X2, and then the supported speed by the drive slot on the motherboard. So there you have it, folks. That is how to use the Samsung 990 Evo Plus with a newer MSI motherboard that allows you to do bandwidth sharing between USB 4 and your second M.2 drive. Hope you guys found this video useful, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.